We are now going to look at making a trailer in iMovie on the iPad. So we open iMovie and we'll go to projects in the middle. We will choose create project and we're going to choose trailer. Now remember the trailer is going to give us a template to fill in while the movie is going to give us a full open opportunity to create. For the trailers it gives you many different options and it gives you the opportunity to preview what each one looks like. So across the bottom you'll see the different types of trailers that I can create. So if if you're working with students, no matter what subject area and no matter what grade level, you can really have a conversation with them about what is the best for what I'm trying to achieve. If I'm trying to create a trailer for a book and that book is very exciting and has a lot of adventure, I'm probably not going to want to choose family or indie. I'm probably going to want to look at something like in the beginning where it says adrenaline or expedition. Now once you've chosen any of the different types of trailers, no matter which one it may be, in the upper right hand corner you'll choose create. Before you choose create though I do want to point out that below each window you will see that it tells you sometimes how many cast members there are. Now that will be important depending on what you want to achieve in the trailer. The cast members will be the number of people that are highlighted or referenced during the trailer. It also tells you how long that trailer is on the right hand side. So you'll see if I go to the romance that is 1 minute and 23 seconds. I can also push play to watch the pre-made preview to see what that would look like. So I'm going to go to create and when I go to create it is going to populate the outline and the storyboard first. It's important to talk to students about what process has gone through in order to create a movie or a trailer. So for my outline, the movie name, that is going to be the name that I want to call this trailer. So whatever that may be, whatever we've decided, they'll put in there. So I'm just going to call this one for the uh, sake of time. I'm just going to call this one test because this is our test movie and I can push done. Notice it has the two cast members. These are the ones that will be highlighted in the film or in the trailer. So let's say that this one's name is Carrie and that's female and then the second one a boy. Let's, uh, let's name him Steven. Studio name can be anything that it wants, but the logo style is actually interesting. There are several different options you can see, and they can choose which one is most appropriate for the studio they create. And then the credits, they can make the credits whatever they may be. Once I have that set up, I can go to the storyboard. The storyboard is where I will be able to put in the rest of the information, the photos, and the videos that I would like to use. Now you'll notice there are blue highlight streaks on the storyboard. This is where I can change written information that is in the trailer. Anytime you see one of the gray boxes, that is where you will be importing media. That will be a photo or a video. Now you'll notice when I choose that on the left that I get a different box and then at the bottom you see that I can also choose photos. Now this will allow me to look at the photos that are my camera roll or several other programs you can see such as Sketch. Then I have a camera and I can actually use the camera to take a photo or a video directly in the uh, iMovie app. The yellow box that you see here in the bottom is going to be what is actually used in that clip. Notice it tells me on the right it is 1.2 seconds worth of space. I'll record a photo so you can see how this works and I'm just going to choose this photo right here. You'll see that it drops it in and as soon as it does it moves me to the next available box. Now you cannot change the uh, length of any of these boxes so what I encourage you to do when you talk with your students is to do previews of this as you work along and then I get down here to action and I actually want to go to my videos I'm gonna to go to recently added and I'm gonna drop this in but see I have to choose the amount of space that I want this is only 1.3 seconds so if I push plus it will add it but I only get 1.3 seconds of that entire video so when you're working with the videos, you want to keep in mind you're limited to the space that you have. So let's say that I've done this. I go back here. Now I can preview or I can edit. You'll notice once I have the picture in there, I can adjust the Ken Burns effect. I can delete if I want, and I can turn the Ken Burns effect off. That way it just keeps there. Notice it says I can drag to position or pinch to zoom. I can also undo, which is at the top, and that will take me to my last location. So once I've done this, if I want to preview, I can push the preview button and it will show me what that shot looks like and it will continue to roll. If I push the play button that's below the picture, it will only show me the exact section which I am in. That way I can make modifications as needed. So when you are finished and you've gone through all this, you've built your entire thing, you can preview it, you can set everything up like you want it. You will choose done in the upper left. 
and when you choose done it will show you what it is. If you need to edit you can simply hit edit and go back in and change anything that you need. Nothing is finalized in here in the sense of that it's unchangeable. You can change any iMovie you have in iMovie at any time that you would want. So if I choose done I can also change the name by pushing where it says test and I can change it to the name that I would like. It will also tell me how long it is and the date that it was created. Now you notice at the bottom that I can play this project. I can also share. When I choose my share options you'll see that I can do all kinds of different things with it. Airdrop, I can add it to iCloud, I can add it to iMovie Theater. I can also save the video. If I choose save video it is going to take this trailer, ask me the size that I want, I'll just choose medium, and it is going to export the movie into my camera roll where then I can then share it to a different location. Those are your basics for making a trailer on iMovie for iOS.